In this video I'm going to show you how to do the weaving for the Core 4. It's an updated technique from what I've had before and it was suggested to me during a Core 16 workshop and it's I think it's a little bit easier to manage on all the different core kits. In this example, it's going to be the Core 4. There's also the Core 16, Core 64, but the method will apply. And as you might guess, this is a prototype of the Core 4. The, the one that you get might be, it's probably going to look different. Um, it won't have the air wires for one thing. And I think it's going to be a little bit smaller overall circuit board size. The tools that you need are a soldering pencil. I'm not going to show the soldering, but that is uh, all done on the back side at each of these joints. Uh, wire cutter and a tweezers can be helpful. Not absolutely required, but kind of helpful. It starts with the wire, the core is here, and then the screen protector. I'll show you how that gets installed. And then the uh, connector here goes on the bottom side and uh, that's the final step. It's just easier to work on all of this when it's flat. This, of course, is the stylus. Um, I'll just mention that these slide together. Careful snapping them apart. You can sand off the burrs if you'd like. And then this slides together, and it captures uh, these two magnets inside here. I suggest soldering a couple of joints up here, or these intersections, and then maybe to here with the magnets in there and as you work your way down by no means do you need to solder all of these but start on this end head towards this end and as you work your way down there it'll help keep these little flappy bits in line and that will prevent the magnets from popping out and sticking to your soldering pencil if that happens get them off the soldering pencil immediately because that heat will destroy the magnetism that's locked up in there and again your stylus might be a little bit different too. Anyway, I'll set that off to the side for now and we'll start with the weaving. I'm gonna straighten out the wire first. Doesn't have to be perfect, but just get the kinks out, make sure there's nothing that's gonna hang you up. And the starting point that I'm going to recommend is in this lower left corner, YL1. I'm just going to put the wire through from the front and I'm going to put about a half inch or so through and then just fold it over so that it can't pull out real easily. And then I'm just going to take this end of the wire and in this case I only need to put two cores on. It's really, it's easier to just work with the cores when you can manage both the wire and the core down low to the work surface. So I'll let those slide on, slide all the way down. So they're down here now. And then I'm gonna push this end of the wire through YR1. Hold, I'm holding the wire on the back side. And pull this through, keep things running it's nice and straight. It's not critical that these are in the pockets just yet, but we'll straighten that out. And then I'm gonna bend the wire out on this side. I'm gonna go out about a half inch or so, and then put the wire back in through YR0. And this is really the technique. It's just, it's keeping the wire in place for all these and putting the cores on as you need them. And not worrying about the ends of the wire at this point. The reason I'm leaving extra is because it's easier to tension the wires with uh, pulling the tweezer, pulling it with the tweezer while you're heating the solder joint, but it keeps everything together from, so it's not falling apart while you're trying to weave it. And then we're back to cores. In the case of core four, there's just the four wires, or four cores, I mean. those on, let them run all the way down. So they bottomed out down there. Run this end of the wire through YL0. Pull that through. Just a tiny bit of tension. Cores are floating, floating around on there. 
And then I'm going to come up through XT0, and this is where the weaving really gets interesting. So I'll pull that up and through. Again, I'm going to leave about, I guess, an inch loop, so, you know, half inch on each side. That's pretty generous. And now is the challenge. We've got to get the core in the right orientation in this pocket. So I'm going to push this first one over. And then just kind of backing it up with the tweezer. I'm going to come in a diagonal. Oh, I'm trying to do this without magnification. That might be a bad idea. So these are the vertical wires. These are jumping around all over on me. Okay. So that is through that core. And it's going, the, these pockets are at a diagonal. In the core 4, they're all at the same diagonal. In core 16 and core 64, they alternate. But in this one, all the cores are going to be at the same diagonal angle. So it's as shown here with the tweezer for this one and all the other ones, including this one. So slide this core over. And I'm going to attempt to slide this in from this diagonal corner here. Here we go. Now pull that all the way through. Gently, I don't want to kink this corner, this uh, edge here when I pull it into position. Like I'm about to do. So I'm going to untwist this so that doesn't happen. Keep a little tension on that. There. So now core is in position, and so is that one. Drop the wire through uh, YB0. Again, when I go and pull this down, I want to make sure I don't put a kink in it. tension and alignment is going to come in the last step when you're soldering it. So for now, I'm just getting these close. And then again, leave a loop of wire hanging out this side, go up through XB1. There's the loop. Oops, flip this over. Straighten out the wire a little bit just because handling it makes it get a little bit bent. And we're going to try to go through these, keeping that diagonal. So that means I have to come through from that side, like I did. And that one actually went really quickly. Pull it back a little bit. Bring the core up. And attempt to get through there. And there we are. Ooh, botched that. Pull back. Move it over. Maybe I can pick it up here. There we go. 
both of those. Sometimes a handy way to pull these through without kinking the wire is to put a little bit of, oh, that's funny. Cores are magnetic, who would have thought? And so hold the wire a little bit taut back here with the tweezer and then you can pull it and basically you're making a little pulley here and keeping the t tension in line with the wire through the cores as, a pull it, as opposed to pulling across the corner of it, which can break the cores actually. So I'll pull this more. There. So that's through. And this little bent end, I'm not too worried about because I'm just going to shove that through the back side. It'll be in the solder joint. No biggie. Okay, so now verifying that all these cores are in the right orientation, which they are. Drop the tail of the wire through XT1. Try to prevent a kink again. Flatten this out. Again, I got the pulley effect going on there as I pull it through. I've done better, but I think you get the idea. All right. Oh, and this one's still sticking out. A little bit of a kink in it. I'm going to tug a little bit more on the back side. Gently pull that through. There. Now, at this point, all that the XY grid is done. I'm just going to cut this about half inch, half inch, 15 millimeters, three quarters of an inch. Who knows? Now, all the wires are fanned out in the back. The weaving of the vertical and horizontal wires is done. And the last step is the sense wire, which is diagonal. I just think it's convenient to cut it at that point. And this is going to be pretty simple just going to follow this uh, S pattern, snake it through here. If the cores are in the right orientations, they're all, all the cores now are perpendicular to that wire path. I could, oh, I will start it like this. So I'm going to go up through sense one. Kind of trivial to pull that through. Uh, again, I'm going to leave about a half inch. All right. Holding it on the back side, straightening it out. Now, if this one is the first diagonal. A little trouble getting that started, but it's through. So there you go, through the first one. As you get gentle bends in it, it's pretty easy to straighten this stuff out. You just want to avoid the like a real sharp, tight kink. Okay, so now it's following the path here. Just going to loop around in space here and go back through this core. three wires through. There's just enough room. So let's do that one. Then I'm going to go to this other diagonal one. Uh, the one that's across from it. So there you go. Now we're following that path. I can pull this through. And again, I can help guide this so it's not pulling sharp into this core by just putting a little pressure outward there. So there it follows that. And then I'm going to loop around again and go back down through S2. This is the last. 
last core. Swing and a miss. Swing and a miss. So that one's through. Keep this flat. And at this point, I can drop this down through sense two. Push enough through to be able to pull it. And I can pull gently through there. This flat. Keep that wire flowing straight through that core. Oh, put an excessive tension on it. So there we go. Now the cores are woven. Can leave again a half inch sticking out. And flatten that down. And then the final step for all this would be to uh, heat up, solder all these solder joints really well for the grid and the sense wire. Rub the soldering pencil maybe along the sides of the enamel to help the, it break down the enamel when you're getting the heat in there. I'm going to turn up the heat a little bit to do that well. And then I recommend uh, the screen protector here. And the thing that holds the screen protector in is, again, this wire. And in this case, let's straighten it out again. It just is these uh, dashed line diagonals. So I'll put a little bit through here, fold it back, the back side, go down through here. While one, pull that through, then come up. Or I'm sorry, not YL one. It's these are un, these are unlabeled. I think your kit will have. Um, this will be a little bit more clear, but it's the outer diagonals that are holding down the screen protector. You could cut these at each step if you want. Um, but again, I'm just leaving a little loop to work with back there. In this case, I'm running a little bit short on wire. The, the uh, kits, the kit that you get is going to have a little bit more wire, just so I'm not cutting it so close. So now that diagonal. Back up the other one. Leave a little loop. Back down. Pull that across. And then for the fine final one here. Just gotta leave a loop. So those can all get trimmed and tightened down a little bit. And then actually before, I would do the, the actual core matrix soldering first and then do the uh, screen holder afterwards. And before you solder in the screen holder wires, you could probably sneak this screen protector under those diagonals. gives you a little bit more flexibility before you tighten them up. So there's that one. Yeah, see what that did? I pulled that corner out because I needed that flexibility apparently. Push it back into this corner. 
and try to get it under here without kinking it. I'm going to push these diagonal screen holders out further in the next design too. Make it easier for you. There we go. Tighten those up. I think you get the idea. It's all about how how careful you want to be with all this stuff. I recommend being careful, but you can do whatever you want. So there we go. These are all in the right positions and everything just needs to be soldered. The oh shoot. The mail pins for the header here go with the notch on the top. So those are gonna that's gonna get soldered in here. Get soldered in from the bottom side, but the notch is up. And there is a complete core for SAO.